that cap here stuck having a bash at one of my caricature doodles of uh, Prescott I can't remember his first name now in real time I think this took me about 15 minutes to draw on colour it John Prescott that is who it is I have put the image up on the right hand side to see so you can see whether I've got the likeness of or not. I'm quite happy with it, but uh, I did make a lot of mistakes. Now, I'd like to start off working in a system. You start off one way and you just keep going the same way, either the right eye, the left, right cheek, etc. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you stick to the system. But already you can see I am going all over the place I'm not keeping it in order so I expect a few more problems out of by the time I finish this I f from looking at the photo as I'm drawing this his face reminds me of like a, a sack of spuds when you lift it up by the the top of the bag, all the weight falls down to the bottom. So I'm sort of seeing his face as this really sort of bulbous potato sack. And I think he's got a fantastic mouth. He looks a right grumpy old git. Now I will start work on the forehead and get my hairline in and then I will go back to the sides and the cheeks again still not keeping it in order I'm sort of backwards and forwards all the time sorry my voice is starting to go but a lot of my lines I have to keep sort of feathering the pencil you know just to get them, get the lines down uh, long strokes if I manage to get the bottom of his face in into a long stroke most of the time I can only do sort of short strokes depends how knackered my arms are and that's my good arm by the way it's just that when I've been walking on this stick my elbow sort of locks when you're putting your weight down on the stick to walk all the, t all the time so it gets quite tiring I feel a little body is in order here so I'll just throw a couple of little shapes down and just give myself some guidelines to work from and then I will just make it up as I go along often works well for me but sometimes it does go a bit tits up on me all right it's not the perfect body but it's it's perfectly acceptable i was going to try to do this one with pastels but I think a bit more practice with my art sticks because I really struggle with these anyway so I think I just keep practicing but I often do this as sort of like a therapy to get my arms moving I like to see how quickly I can do it now I know it's a lot slower than I used to be when I was working at it that live caricature but I still like to keep trying to get back there. I'm never going to go out there and do it live again, so I've lost a lot of the sort of when you look at a face, sort of instantly pick things out when you've been doing it quite a while. But where you want to go and where you want to exaggerate, but here I'm sort of always struggling with my decisions as I go along. The brush I am using is a pit brush. I think I'm, I've got one here. It's got the nail. 
Yeah, Faber Castell Pit Artist Brush Pen. Now, I like these, well, basically, because there's not a lot of choice in the UK. Unfortunately, getting markets that you get from America and Canada a real bugger to get hold of in this country so you have to sort of make do with what you can get well before I buggered up me body arm movements and that I used to have quite a delicate touch with these brushes brush pens but now I'm so clumsy and so heavy handed I'd really like to sort of find something a little bit better to use but you try it, keep trying all these different ones and they work in one sort of way and not in other ways. I, I, I actually think Sharpies are quite good. I know everybody moans about them but I think when you first buy a Sharpie the point on the the nib works great for the first few caricatures after it starts it's a bit like drawing with a blunt chisel iron mid but the first couple while well, it's still nice and new the tip and you can get some great lines with them but after that as they start to work like I say it is like you work drawing with a chisel but at least they are full of ink. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot, you can do a lot of drawing be before you run out. My voice is getting a lot better. I seem to be able to talk longer these days. Now, once I've got there, ink lines down I will then start to use the art sticks I, I find it difficult then difficult to use because I haven't got the dexterity in my fingers or the pressure the strength to put the pressure into it to get a good sort of the, the art sticks to blend into the paper into the cartridge paper and I also struggle with controlling them a bit. It's not bad considering I'm not very dexterous. I don't even know if that is a word when I'm drawing with them, but it keeps me out of trouble doing, using them. I think I'll, the next one of the next caricatures I do, I caricature doodles that I do I think I will use watercolour see how quick I can do a quick watercolour caricature doodle from start to finish now I can't remember if I said how long this has actually taken so far I think overall it is about 15 minutes and I used to be able to do them in about 9 or 10. So although I've lost the neck in a lot of ways, I think I can get it down to a reasonable level. Now I can see when you're drawing close up, you don't sort of see the mistakes, but I can see now I've drawn one eye bigger than the other. My ears are skew with as well, but there I am putting in me, me and I'm, it's just a, I put these little X's and write thing notes down so that I can look back on it later on and sort of see where I went wrong. So next time I try to not do that and I will end up making another boo boo somewhere else in it. But as you can see, as I start with the art sticks, I like to go around the edge because, like I say, I've got no control over these art sticks really these days. I could end up going upside my lines. 
the ink lines so I like to get that sort of box it all in into the shape now I think I'm not brilliant like this but I think I've got the main parts the big jowly cheeks and the baggy eyes he looks like he's got suitcases under his eyes I should have drawn, drawn some of them oh I should have drawn him with boxing gloves actually because he is famous politician for punching the, the motor a few years back who threw an egg at him <laughs> and he bopped him one silly old sod but yes I think I've got the main parts of him in so well my Leslie my wife Leslie she recognised him and that was without looking at the computer screen and seeing a picture of him and she just got him straight away so I'm quite pleased when she gets them a lot of the time people will say they they get the likeness when they don't because they because they leave you friends or something when all you want is a bit of brutal bloody honesty you know it's just saying well no that is not it you know but best thing is to ask other artists the I can't don't think I'm gonna last much longer talking. But and I did have something to say but I've forgotten what it was quite important actually what I was gonna say. Oh yes, how I do it now. I don't go out and do a live anymore as I said. But what I do is I will open up photo in Sketchbook Pro. It's great for just Open up a photo onto the page and then just using the um, one of the tools to enlarge the picture and I can just sit here at my easel and look at the computer screen and just draw so it's my sort of version of drawing live these days I like to put a little bit of shadow under the at the top of the you know under the eyelids just to give it a bit of depth I was going to suggest say that while I was doing something else but it is no point I have forgotten that like most things and I could have really done more with putting a lot more uh, crow's feet in around his eyes and there uh, and really got got more of the uh, eyebrows more like a scowl and it's like he's chewing a wasp but like well it is what I've done so that is it I never bother editing it, it, ever, anything I just draw what I see I try to do what I can and then hope just publish it the next time and then just try come back to it at a later stage and try it and just restart and then another bash at drawing him. I'm trying to put some blue in now so of making his eyes look a bit more you know sort of suitcasey under the eyes. I also <coughs> sorry Actually, it's not a brilliant caricature, but it's all right, I'm quite happy. It's not the sort of one that I would throw in the bin. I think, well, not bad, I do better. So, and it does give me a great chance to mess about with editing with this Camtasia 
and I find it so much easier now using this software for my little videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. If you want to see more of the stuff that I do, have a look at my cartoon blog, Flat Caps Cartoon Blogspot. Dot com I think it is called I will put a link at the end of this I believe that is a call for action it is very hard to learn all these technical stuff with all this new technology you know cantankerous old bit like me anyway anyone wants to ask me anything just add a comment on my blog Thank you for what thank you for watching. <sighs> no, that is it. I'm not saying no more.